Okay, let's do this. So we're working with ideal gas law problems. So we're going to perform calculations involving temperature, abbreviated, oops, abbreviated as T, pressure abbreviated as P, volume abbreviated as V, number of moles of gases, N, and of course this would be involving the equation pervnert, PV equals N, RT, where R is always given to you as 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per Kelvin mole. And what these units tell us is that volume better be in liters, pressure better be in atmospheres, temperature has to be in Kelvins, and number of moles, I can't imagine doing it as anything else, but if you weren't sure, it had to be in moles. In order to match the, the units on this R value, those are the units we have to use in the problem. So that makes it a little bit easier every single time. Didn't even read the question, I knew that. Okay, so we are going to calculate the volume, V, in liters of 0 0.007 zero zero moles of a gas at 32 degrees Celsius and 0 0.85 atmospheres. So here is our pressure, here is our temperature, here is our number of moles, little n, and our volume is our unknown, and we need that in liters. Okay, so from our equation, PV equals NRT. We have, we don't know V, don't know that one. We know P, we know N, we always know R, it's 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per Kelvin mole, and we know T. So from this, we know that this is the correct equation to use. There are different forms of this equation. Those forms involve a change in time because this doesn't say there's no change, there's no duplicate volumes, there's no duplicate temperatures, there's no duplicate pressures. We're just gonna use PV equals NRT straight up. And now all we have to do is plug and chug. And there's two ways to do this. You can plug in the numbers first and then rearrange to solve for V, or you can rearrange to solve for V first. So I'm, that's the way I'm gonna do it this time. P's cancel. V equals NRT over P. And now we're going to plug in our numbers. So it's 0 0.00700 moles for the N. Our R is 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per Kelvin mole. And just a reminder, those are the units that you need to use. T. Big problem with T, this is degrees Celsius. That is not the same thing as Kelvin. So we need to convert this to Kelvin. And we know that Kelvin equals degrees Celsius plus 273. So all we have to do is add 273 to that. And 32 plus 273. Nope, oh, that should be a zero. Hold on. Okay, doing better. 305. No, I can't draw. Okay. Oh, poor me. 305 Kelvin. So that's what we're going to plug in. 305. Kelvin because it has to be in Kelvins so that this Kelvin will cancel with that Kelvin. This mole cancels with that moles, the moles are fine. Okay, we're looking for volume in liters, so, and this is in liters, so we're set, and we have to make sure the pressure is in atmospheres, and it is, so we can just write the pressure exactly as it is. 0 0.850 atmospheres, Atmospheres, atmospheres cancel. The only unit we have left is liters. So this is going to give us an answer in liters, which we like. And let's pause for a second and do the calculation. And the answer that we are getting is, we're going to write it up sideways, 0 0.0. 
2.206 liters. And that's our final answer.